we are back in the how to campaigns for the five people of you who are still actually are following this. I hope you're enjoying the series because, yeah, it doesn't seem the general public is. So, Balkan Lion, by the way, for everybody who is actually still watching this series, please subscribe. We're at the Battle of Kaliakra. Blah, that's a pay to pronounce. Now, I first started this mission so it was impossible, but I figured it's not as crazy if you kill this green guy first. So, obviously. Add your generals to your best ships, so these here, those in the south all. Maybe you can still add one U-boat general if you want to. Go kill this guy, and then the rest isn't as bad. I think you're still getting reinforcements once in a while, so not too crazy. Don't be worried, I first was into it for quite a bit, but then I um, tried it and it wasn't too harsh. The Morava Offensive. This one's a bit of pain, just because you don't start with any cities, you can't really produce anything new, you don't get any new units. But what you should do is go for the city first. So you add your best RT, your best all everything. Again, you don't have any special units with Bulgaria, same as with uh, Serbia. So you go over here, you try to hit this fort first, as I often do it. Go on this tile, add your RT generals here and here. And now you can kill this fort easily. Go take the city, and then you could try to go this way here, but I found that actually going through the ocean is not that stupid, since these units will go over here, and then you can just land here easily. And it's just a two-step... Two, three steps in the new takes you a lot shorter than if you go this way around. So yeah, it might seem stupid. Maybe it just works for me. You should have, you have to look how it works for you. But if there's no artillery here, land that way. Then you can go over here and together in the end with your allies, go get the city. But that Mr. Bogajev already should have handled. The Ochvle offense pole thingy is a defend. No, I said you're not even defend really. It's just attack. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um... The way I did this is rush the city, rush the city, and got it before the enemies capture the city, since they'll really focus on here. What you do is just, well, rush down here and take this here as soon as possible. Again, you have some good artillery, again, some good uh, cavalry and an infantry up here. Don't have too many great units, so add all the best in the beginning. Rush, just rush it down. So here you would take your Ivanov or your uh, Hindenburg. Probably for me, actually, Hindenburg slowly should be better than Ivanov, but yeah. But right now he proved to be very powerful. So yeah, here, here, check, check. And you go rush the city, rush the city, and take it. Battle of Krivolak. This one is such a weird map, it really, it's a bit of an eyesore to try to scroll down upwards. These units here you'll unlock if you kill this green guy here, so you focus on getting this guy here killed. Try to not lose him here, that's important, like one of the main games. And otherwise, same as often, Add your best RTs, add your best everythings. No special extra units, so you have to be careful to not lose any units. You serve off with at least two good cavalries. This is a breastplate. This also should be a breastplate, huh? Yep, so here you add your second best. Here you add your best cavalry. And you kill this artillery first. Important as always. And then, yeah, go kill this guy. That's important. Then it shouldn't be too hard. And just get it uh, done with as soon as possible, because your eyes will hurt. <laughs> Battle of Costurino. Here... The best way to get this done is not attacking this frontally, but attacking this here, then circling around, grabbing all these cities here. It's a bit of, this is a bit of a pain because it just takes very long. Hopefully, your allies are a little bit helpful in the north. I would not really not just go after this first thing here because it just seems very annoying. Get the British out of this here as soon as possible. Go here, then you split up your forces half here, half here, and yeah. This one's a pain. This one's a pain. Uh, is there anything special with your units? Not really. You add your best cavalry here, obviously. And yeah. Battle of Malkanice. I'm really trying to pronounce these things, but my god. You guys really can't... Oh, this is an easy one. So the one before was a big pain. This one is pretty easy. Well, first thing you do is don't go from confront because you're right suffering a minus. You go here. You defend these guys. What I actually even did is just I returned quite a bit. And actually... Nah, I'm not going to have my generals because I'm lazy. I went and attacked over here. Killed this guy first. So I, you can just ignore a little bit in the beginning. They won't attack as fast. Go kill this guy, and then you can circle back and try to hold it. Yeah, it's really not a difficult uh, campaign if you got this far already. The Battle of <laughs> Guys, really, can you please start naming things in the way which I can pronounce? Here, the annoyance is you will be able to get this city, this city very soon. The, you, your allies will lose this city. So, yeah, rush this down. Kill some guys over here and drive buying. So don't confront them directly, just like run past them like this. And then attack where you have to or can. Like here you go as far as possible, you hit here, you hit here, 
hit their generals, add a better, um, what you still need. You might still need the cavalry, so maybe add still cavalry here. Then you can go, again, add your best generals. I'm now not, gonna, not every time to do it, just because it takes too much time. The Battle of Kobadin. Oh, this one's again an annoying uh, campaign. I have to say, to hold this port while taking these other ports here, the way I did it is, you mean use your ships to attack here. Use your best chippy boys, so you have your BT, which you probably got by now. Take out these thingies, take out this artillery, this artillery gets quite annoying. With these boys here set over, take the fastest route over here as possible. Go and take this city, you don't really have to focus on cities, but I didn't know. Take this city, take this city. With these guys here, you land uh, here. Can you add your best general? So here you can add very good general, for example, uh, yeah, your Stonewall, Jackson, or McClellan. Go and attack this ship here. Otherwise, you produce ships, you don't really produce units. You have to go and really try to kill off the navy. You add your best generals to navies if you can, maybe still one, two, like here. This artillery needs a good unit. This howard really needs a good unit. Otherwise, yeah. So these units go up here, help with this conquest here. And uh, these units go over here. Try to take out this city so you can attack here. The ships go through the middle. Don't rush it too much, not that they get attacked by land. Try to get this port first and then you try to sneak here. And then what you can do is not really have to kill every single thing, just get the ports before killing anything else. The Battle of Doiran. Do Do here is just to kill every single unit. The issue is the enemies spawn about 5 bajillion units. You just add all your best uh, units. So here, 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 here. And actually this guy as well, you couldn't add an infantry general. I wouldn't advise on this guy because he's basically dead. So yeah, you don't get any units. Kill it off, but try not to kill them off too fast. Try to so use the defensive structure of your allies here, but you don't have to go and kill everything. I went and killed, went and tried to kill every single unit. In the end, I, I, I managed to conquest with like two units still alive. So it's a bit risky. And almost all these guys were still alive. So <laughs> yeah, it was a bit dumb. So yeah, try to also use your allies as well. Don't ne unnecessarily go and attack aggressively. And the last campaign mission, uh, the third battle of Doiran, uh, again, holding position. Well, obviously pretty self-explanatory. This time, all the time, units will spawn somewhere, so suddenly there'll be an invasion here, suddenly there'll be an invasion here. There'll be two invasions on this city, so be careful. Here there'll be a huge fleet which spawns, over here also an army will spawn. Well, here it's just mostly problem solving. You have to have, in the end, two key positions. I managed to get all four. I didn't think it was that hard, but it's just more of a, you're running here, killing everything. Oh, here's new unit army spawning. You have to run there. You send all units over there. Oh, there's new army spawning here. Have to produce new units to hold. <laughs> just a bit of a, a brain damage mission. Not very hard, just quite annoying. I hope this is helpful to you. There's only still two of these left. And God, I'm slowly getting fed up of these campaign missions. Thank you for watching. Again, subscribe, have a nice and bye.